This is crazy. The hanging is a traditional Maori method of cooking food in so, the ground. You've gone eeling. Yeah. You've gone goat hunting. Yeah. You've gone diving. Yeah. You've gone into the forest. You've discovered all these amazing things about New Zealand. Are you ready for tonight? To be honest, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Now that I'm digging a pit to cook my goat in, you didn't tell me at the beginning of the week that we're going to be digging a hole and cooking it in a pit. I always like to leave a few surprises. Confident? Yes. Oh, that was... <laughs> One hour of hard labour later, we're ready for stage two. We are flaming, girl. This is going to burn for two hours, so in the meantime, we'll get all our stuff ready to put in the pit. Time to get cooking, starting with my mountain goat and those fiery leaves we foraged from the forest. Right, Monique, uh, what are you rubbing your uh, goat with? The... Jalapeno. Using jalapeno on yours? Yes. Me too. Nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. That's going to be the pepper flavour in there as well, right? That's right. In my kitchens, I use foil to wrap meat, but that's not the Maori way. All right, no tin foil, no worries. We're using puka leaves. Do we wrap veins inside or outside? Uh, inside. To stop the meat drying out during cooking. And harakiki flax to tie them together. That's one done. I mean, it's a little bit prehistoric, but it's done. Right, next one. I'm gonna check this real quick. Oh, oh, I think it's coming undone, Chef. Not tight enough. I think you might want to start again. Bloody hell's bells. It looks easy tying these things, but it's not, you know that. Just like your shoelace, Gordon. Right. Sure your kids could do it. Holy mackerel. Fragrant and highly strung, and that's just me. A goat goes into baskets lined with aromatic herbs. Got the sweet potatoes in as well. Sweet potatoes in, and we'll just put them in the gaps. Oh, man. Heavy, huh? Yeah. So, too, are the now red hot rocks. <laughs> How hot is that? Must be 1,000 degrees. All right, almost there. Now let's get the food on. Like that. Next, the pit is covered with soaking sacks to create a primitive pressure cooker. And then... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, That's the steam starting. If you weren't sick of your shovel... Finally, because I haven't been punished enough already, more Fine, shoveling. Yeah. I've met some hard workers in my time, but Monique oh. is on another level. If there's ever a cook that complains about the stove, I'm sending them to you. <laughs> what an amazing technique, an underground oven. There's no cavity wall insulation, there's no digital clock to set the timer. <laughs> there's no convection. You've got a <laughs> hole, baby. So there's no freaking way I can have a sneak peek at my goat. No. You've buried it. Ashes, ashes, Your dust food is dust. in the hands of the gods. May it rise deliciously. <laughs> I've never felt more like a fish out of water than I have today because I can't touch anything. I can't double check for that level of perfection because that's it. It's in there now and uh, roll on three and a half hours because if that if that's not cooked, I'm done.